Do you have an ID in here, sir? Uh, yeah, I do. Can I see that, please? Oh, sh certainly. Here. Oh, yeah. No, your, your real ID. Yeah, this is. No. I'm Billy Buttcrack. Here you go. I got some ID right here. I know that when I get here, you walk away from me. You don't want to talk to me. No. You don't want to tell me who you are. It makes me very suspicious of you. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. I need to see some ID for me. No, ma'am. Your travel destinations, okay, and your interstate travel is bizarre. It doesn't make hey, sense. Hey. You don't have it. You, you don't have. I've a done. I've done nothing do. wrong. Okay. I wasn't speeding. Hey, listen. You hey. went from zipping along to when, when I go to when I go to light you up. What's up, CT3 fam? Welcome back to my channel, where we highlight three clips, and I'll recap with a few educational corners to ensure your rights are not violated on your next encounter with the cop. My name is CT3, and I have a passion for police accountability and our constitutional rights, and I'm sure you feel the same. As you can see on your screen, that's my new channel, CT3 Live. Thank you for the support on getting me to 1,000 subscribers, but if you're not, go ahead and subscribe so you can support me on my next live audit. Now, with that said, the channels being featured today are Flex Your Freedoms, Picture Perfect and Brian Overby. Make sure you head over to their channels and show them some love because without them, there's no CT3. And if you can, go ahead and gently smash that like button before the video even starts so this video will spread and help put an end to police misconduct and educate the uneducated. So let's get right into it. Huh? Uh, no, I think I came from downstairs. Do you have an idea? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Can I see that, please? Oh, sh certainly. Actually, if I can freaking find it, maybe. Where are you from? No, I was thinking about moving here. Oh, yeah. No, your, your real ID. Yeah, this is. No. I'm Billy Buttcrack. The real ID. Oh, you need the real one? Yep. Ah, son of a gun. Here you go. I got some ID right here. The D. What's that? I got the ID. Here you go. Driver's license. Oh. Here you go. I'm gonna need to see your ID, sir. Sir. Time to go. Let's go. You need to leave. Excuse me. Let's Don't go. touch me. You? You yeah, to you just did. You just bumped me. You Why? For what? What did I do wrong? You were told to leave by me. For what? What crime? Let's go. What crime did I do? I'm here to get papers. Let me see it. Uh, no, you could Didn't look you right here. Papers? Excuse me? Didn't you already get your papers? I think you need to slow your roll right now. Slow my roll? Yeah. You know you work for Come me? On Come on down here. For what? Come on. I committed no crime. Come on. I'm here to look at papers, get papers, see what services you provide. Right now. Well, you could tell all day, but I followed the law. I followed the law. I'm going to continue getting my paperwork. You heard the deputy, you heard the deputy. come on. What did I do wrong? You guys can't, this ain't Russia. You can't just make up rules yourself. I did nothing wrong. He's on a power trip. I did nothing wrong. I'm here to get papers. Okay. Mike. What was your name and badge? Seven. Buchanan well, County. You my name and badge and you have to give me your name and badge. Because you're a public servant, didn't matter. you forget? It doesn't matter. It does. Did you forget? You work for me. No. You work for the people. Do you live in Buchanan County? It's none of your business. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why are you being this way? Why are you, tyrant? What's so funny, little boy? I don't know. Why can't you just respect our rights? What's the First Amendment? Do you know? Didn't think so. It's a shame that you guys swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, yet you don't even know the First Amendment. You like the Broncos? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I like freedom is what I like. Apparently, you guys don't. You're still free, aren't you? Uh, not by you. You want to be a little tyrant. Hey, get out Get out of the public building. I haven't. Hey, hey, he went up. Yeah, because you're not going to. And if you do, guess what? We'll have fun in court. I like the camera. We'll have fun in court. Guess what? Have you violated someone's rights? Of course you have. But guess what? You ain't going to violate mine without repercussions. I like your camera. 
the brain. I like your facial hair. Thanks. It looks actually kind of good. Kind of good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. You should probably grow some too. Mm. Not enough testosterone. Too much. Oh. Okay. Hey, how about I have a task for you? Nope. The Bill of Rights, go read the First Amendment, because you don't know what it is, pal. What do you mean? What do you mean? What am I doing That's right now? That's a question you didn't answer. Well, yeah, because you're a public you. servant. Guess what? You don't even know the Fourth Amendment. That's how sad you are. Go read it. Freedom of the press is what I'm doing, right? Are you with press? Oh, yeah, I am. Do you have a press pass? Are you really that low IQ? Okay. This is America. The press passes in the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. Okay. Oh, you didn't know that, huh? No, you're educating me. I, that's bad. No, if I know I, your I, job way more than I you. Imagine, imagine swearing an oath to the Constitution like yet you don't educate. know. Can you educate me? Yes. What's the First Amendment? What no. five protections are no. in the First Amendment? You're not answering my questions. I don't have to. I don't? I don't have to. You work for me. Don't forget that. And maybe when you want to try violating someone's rights, you might want to read the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. You keep talking about these amendments, but you haven't told You're not educating me. Yeah, are you really that clueless that I have to do your job for you? So, you swore an oath to the Constitution, yet you can't even recite the First Amendment. That's pathetic, and you got stripes. Okay. That's bad. You're a poor I'm, leader. I've asked you to leave. For what crime? I did nothing wrong. I literally just got a passport, okay. and you're over here harassing me. For what? I'm not harassing you. Yes, you are. Hey, did you already go upstairs? Leave, leave. Did you go you gotta leave. Did you go upstairs? No. I already told you that when you first asked. Okay. So stop harassing me. Go read the Constitution, pal. Yeah, I look like that too because you're looking like a fool. It's bad. You got all these stripes, all these time and service on your arm, but yet you don't even know the Constitution, the oath you swore to uphold and protect. You work for we the people. Don't you dare forget that. Don't you dare forget you. that. You do work for me. You do work for me. How and dare you dishonor you. all those that have fought and died for these freedoms? How dare you? And you're just going to cross your arms like a beta male. I do. Yeah, I mean, what, he's doing the wrong thing. He needs educated. This is disgusting what he's doing. Oh, do you want, you want to know what happened when I came in here? Guess what? I'm being so polite to everybody. I go in here, go in the clerks. I ask them, hey, what, what services do you guys provide here? And you know what? I got, I got a passport information right here because this is what I'm looking for. I'm here to go in all these offices. And this guy right here, he should not have stripes for one. That's disgusting how you treat the public. Oh, Two, he's really yelling at me. Really hold on, hold on, little man. Number two, I'm in here to check out the public building. Public. Don't forget that. And he's over here harassing me. Hey, you already went up there. No, you got to leave. Get out of here. No, I don't have to leave. You're the one demeaning us. Demeaning you? Yes. Really? What's the First Amendment? What a shame. What a shame. Because you're a public servant. Did you forget? Guess what? You, this job right here is a lot. You, the public expects you to do your job correctly. That oath that you swore actually means something. You know how many men fought and died for these freedoms that we have? And you're over here trying to give me a hard time for what? Why are you giving me a hard time? Because you work for me. I did nothing wrong to you. What have I done to you? What have I done to you? They're not giving us your name. I don't have to. What's the Fourth Amendment, buddy? Is this a, your first day on the job? I mean, come on. You got to be better than this. It's, I mean, Captain, is this what you, do you accept this behavior? What do you need? Well, I'm going to go, I'm, I've just got here. I'm going to each one of these buildings asking what services they provide. I'm getting certain things like I just got a passport info because I'm going to fill it out and get a passport. And I'm here checking out the building. Then I get harassed by this deputy. It's disgusting, his behavior. Well, check out the building. Exactly. Why couldn't we do that in the first well, place? Yeah. So you have no problem? No. Exactly. Do you have a problem now? The captain says it's fine. It, 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 yeah, and he says it's fine because maybe, you know, he appreciates the Constitution. He at least, at, at minimum, he understands Just it. Just don't interrupt or go back into any place that you're not. Exactly, and I don't. Exactly, and I don't.
that's all I ask. Uh, yeah, that's fine with me. You know, certain parts of the building are not limited. Yeah, it'll say restricted or certain now, signs. Just, you know, anything that's open to the public, if you want to go in and Exactly. Go ahead and do it. That, okay. That would be my recommendation. Don't stand around and argue with us on it. Just go ahead and do it. I mean, uh, it, well, it shouldn't be them arguing with me. Well, it's the thing. Either way. Okay. okay. Just go in and... Well, there we go. There, at least the captain knows, Sergeant. Okay. You might have to take some lessons up. Go home, maybe just check out the Bill of Rights because you don't thank, know it. Thank you for your advice. Yeah, no problem. And thank me for my okay. service, too, because your service is not good. Okay, well, just Bad boy. understand there's certain areas you can go. Oh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm well aware. You can certainly go into whatever the public is as long as you're not disrupting. Yeah, exactly. The people that, and I don't. The people that are coming in and out need to do business here. Yeah, okay? yep. No worries. There you go. Thanks, Captain. Hey, Sergeant. Maybe you'll learn one day. Thank you. No problem. It's all right. Maybe you will too, young man. You got to learn that your job is to uphold our rights, not to act however you want. Have a good day. Walk of shame, gentlemen. Walk of shame. Yeah, keep walking. Flacial Freedoms just turned that building into a schoolhouse the way he educated those officers. Like Flacial Freedoms said, police officers are sworn to uphold the Constitution, and they should know what the Bill of Rights says. If an officer does not know the Bill of Rights, they are not qualified to be a police officer. Law enforcement took an oath to protect the rights guaranteed by the Constitution. If they don't know the Constitution, they cannot protect those rights. It is impossible for an officer to do their job properly if they don't know the Constitution. Cops' ignorance of the Bill of Rights can lead to them violating people's rights. Like a police officer might try to serve someone without probable cause simply because they don't know the fourth amendment prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures also a police officer might arrest someone for speaking out against the government simply because they don't know those rights are detailed in the first amendment and so many cops suspect you to help them out in their investigation against you simply because they don't know the fifth amendment which gives us the right to not incriminate ourselves these are just a few examples of how a police officer ignorance of the bill of rights can lead to them violating people's rights it is important for police officers to know the constitution so they can protect the rights of the people they are sworn to serve. Flesh of Freedoms always throw a twist in his First Amendment audits to make it a little bit more enjoyable. So if you never checked out his channel, I recommend going over there so you can enjoy some great content. Let's continue. Uh, not too bad yourself. Um, pretty good. What's going on with you? Uh, I'm just out taking some pictures. Okay, you want some? Uh, actually, I'm kind of on a time schedule. Okay, I need to talk to you. Am I being detained? I want to stop and talk to you. Uh, I, 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 I appreciate that. Vehicles? No, Are no. I, I, yes, at the moment you are being detained. For what crime? I find out what's going on. For what crime? If looking in vehicles, I need to find out who you are for and what crime? what you're doing. What crime am I being detained I'm for? I'm investigating. That's not a crime. What I'm crime? investigating. Ma'am, what crime? Do you have some ID with you? No, ma'am. What crime? What crime am I being uh, suspected of? There's right the, now, I don't know. Exactly. So there's no reason to detain. But if you're looking in vehicles and you're taking pictures and you're inside taking pictures of all all legal activities, ma'am. What's that? They're all legal activities. Can I ask why? Uh, yeah, I'm. Let me just let me talk to you for a moment. What's your first name? Tell me that. I'd rather not give that up. Just that's fine too. You're making everybody in there very uncomfortable. Well, that's. You're going in there taking pictures of them. Ah, I you're went in. I didn't go in there to take pictures cars. of them. I went in there just to get pictures of the inside of the post office, and I grabbed a passport application while I was in there. Okay, why are you taking pictures of the inside of the post office? It's part of what I'm working on. Okay, can you? Know, is that? I'm a working big on it. Yeah, right now it is. I'm working on a story on the post office. It'll be online, and let, I'm hoping in about a week, whoever picks it up, you can just Google Claremore Post Office, and it'll come okay. up. That's fair, but you're making everybody really uncomfortable, and now you're not wanting to talk to me. They're telling me you're looking in cars, so I'm going to find out <laughs> what's going on. I have a reason to find They're out. They're going to tell you that so, they, so they can get you out here. That's great. I've never been and then if looking I find in any out cars. That you're good, then you can be on your way and do what you're doing. But I have a job to do. I understand it's that. It's not to give you a hard time. But I, I also have a job to do, and I have things to do. I don't have time to waste around here. I'm on, on my last pass, and then I'm out. I've already explained to them what I'm doing. You so. explain to who? Three different people. Okay, who are the three people? I don't know who they are. I didn't have one name. One lady said her name was Trish. I have on the way. Yes, the post office calling. They have an issue with you. I understand they that, but I don't. Reason to be here I don't care about their issue. This is a First Amendment protected activity. If they're uneasy, I'm sorry. I told them what I was doing. 
Okay. It doesn't you get any simpler. Uneasy. When you walk away from me, you don't want to talk to me. I'm here for a valid reason. I don't. I'm here for a legal reason. I'm not you trying to be. Talk to me. I know. I'm trying. I'm not trying to be rude, but I don't have to talk to you, ma'am, and I don't want yeah, to. I have when no, ma'am. I don't. For a complaint, and you were in there, and they called me. Okay. The one that was in there? Yes, I went inside. That doesn't matter. It's it's a public place. It's perfectly legal. And so you're okay with the fact that everybody, you made everybody very uncomfortable. I don't, yeah, actually I am, because I told them there's nothing nefarious going on. It doesn't matter. Okay. There's, now how am I supposed to know that? Now just look at it. From my point of view, I'm out here. I get a call about a guy, and it's okay that you're recording. That's fine. Right. That happens to us all the sure. time. Sure. I'm recording too, so we're good to go. All right. Okay? But I get a call about a guy who's in the post office taking pictures who's out in the parking lot taking pictures mm -hmm. and is looking in cars. Uh, well, so that's that hearsay. I was not looking in any vehicles. Okay, okay. I wasn't even close but enough to look in any that. vehicles. I know that when I get here, you walk away from me. You don't want to talk to me. No. You don't want to tell me who you are. It makes me very suspicious of you. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. I need to see some ID for me. No, ma'am. This is not a stop in ID state. Am I free to go? No, you are not. I told you I'm detaining you until I find out what's going on here. Okay, but you didn't tell me what crime. What crime do you suspect me of? I'm, that's what I'm trying to find out. If you're looking in cars, that makes me very suspicious. Of you, In order to detain somebody, you have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime has been committed. As soon as is, Rose gets here, we'll talk to the post office the, who complained. We'll find out their side of the story as well. There is. Until I find out what's going on. I'm, I'm doing an investigation now, and, and, and you're staying put. And what is your name and badge number? You give me your name, I'll give you mine. No, ma'am. I, I am. I understand that. I'm. I'm not a public official. You are duty bound to, to am I? identify yourself. You are. Okay. So, what is your name and badge number? What is your name and badge number? I work for Claremore Police Department. Okay, and you are. And you are officer who? Okay, if you're not going to identify yourself to me, then then, what? then you're not going to detain me and I'm going to be on my way because you're not an officer in my eyes. I'm on the north side of the post office. So, what is your name and badge number? And what crime do you suspect me of committing? I'm investigating what you were doing. That's not a crime. What crime do you suspect me of committing? You go round and round, but... Okay, well... What is your name Until and badge I talk number? To the other part of this. I don't have I to find stay out here. What's going on? You are going to stay here. I don't know what's going on. That doesn't matter. I have complaints that you're looking in vehicles. Now I get here, and you're on the sidewalk, and you're taking pictures. Yep. You're recording, and I'm good with that. I don't care. But you won't tell but me your name. My issue is you were in there. That doesn't matter. If you don't care, then why won't you tell me what your name and badge number no, is? I care because you were in there causing a disturbance. And I wasn't causing a disturbance. You were because they called. That. It's not my problem. Okay. It, it is now because you're here. How are we doing, sir? Oh, I've had better days. You? So what's going on? Ask her. She thinks she's going to detain me. You are staying here. I told you. You're not going anywhere. What you? crime do you suspect me of committing? You, were, it was, you, were you have to... Are, there there is no disturbance. disturbance. You have what to articulate a crime. What is her name and badge number? She's okay. refused to give it to me. What is... What are, why are we here? I'm taking pictures. That's it. Okay. Why are we taking pictures? I'm working on a story on the post office. Okay. Or where's your firearm at? What makes you think I'm carrying? Because you have a holster on your back. It's empty. Okay. Well, I'm asking, is it on your person? No, sir. Okay. All right. Do you have any ID on you? No, sir. Okay. What's your name, partner? I'm not going to give it. Okay. Am I free to go? No. Not right yet. What crime do you suspect me of committing? Okay, well, I'm trying to figure that out. I understand out. that. You have to have inside. reasonable, articulable oh, suspicion, sir. I gave you that. You were inside taking pictures. You're looking in Would cars you and you're taking pictures of the I'm not looking in cars, and there's no proof of that. Cars. And I'm it doesn't matter. I can take pictures of everything. If there is no proof of that, you will be free to leave. Okay, what is your name and badge number, officer? I told you. You give me your name, I'll give you mine. Is that what you tell the judge when he asks? What is your name and badge number, ma'am? 
keeps marking. This is going to be very bad for your post or for your uh, department. What is your? Uh... I'm Sergeant Buck with the Claremore Police Department. Thank you, sir. All right. What is your name and badge number, ma'am? No, he didn't give me yours. I want the names and badge numbers of everybody on this call. What is her name and badge number, sir? Have you been drinking this afternoon? Have you? What is her name and badge number? But I see an alcohol bottle laying right here on the ground, so I'm asking you, have you been drinking? Take it up, fingerprint it. What? I am asking you a question. And I'm refusing to answer. What is your name and badge? Or what is her name and badge number? I'm detaining you because I'm going to make sure you're not intoxicated in public. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. What is I, what is your name and badge number? I believe I already told you. What that. is her name and badge number? I, I'm I'm talking to you right now. All right. All right well, I'm about clamming you. up. What what you is your name and badge number? You haven't been drinking. I want to make sure you haven't been drinking. Uh, please Come give here. me a little space. Come here. Come here. I'm creating I'm space. I'm going to check your eyes to make sure that you haven't been drinking. No, sir, you're not. Yes, sir, I am. No, sir, you're not. Yes, sir, I no, am. No, you're not. Do me a favor. Keep that right there. I don't care. Keep that right there. See the tip of this pen? How much you had to drink today? How much have you had to drink today? I don't drink. See the tip of this pen? I want to make sure that you're safe to do this. I don't consent to field sobriety tests. Especially when there's no. Where you're standing, there's an alcohol bottle? When she stopped me, I was down there. Whenever I showed up, you were standing right there. Congratulations. See where her car's parked? That's where she stopped me. Okay. All right. Which is, oh, I don't know. What's that? About 60, 70 feet away from that? So what is your name and badge number, ma'am, last time? Make it, no, make it the last time. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll call the chief. Here's the deal. Whenever I make sure that you haven't been looking into cars and doing stuff like that, if I can establish that, you're on your way. Well, do what you got to do then. All right then. Do me a favor, sir. Don't put your hands in your pockets, okay? Your hands are in yours. Listen to me, all right? You've got a holster on. I don't know if you have a gun or not. I'm, if you keep your hands out of your pockets, everything is fine. Hey, I've told you I'm not armed. Well, okay, here's the deal. You're not really acting rationally at the moment. All right? Standing up for my rights is not being rational? Not cause you any problems. Somebody called us. I understand that. And she won't even identify herself. How professional is that? Okay, well, you haven't really given us... You it's really cold. Given us, uh, keep your um, hands out of your pockets. Do me a favor. Just keep your hands out of your pockets. That's all I ask. All right? You understand why we're here. We got a call. We're not just here because okay. we feel like it. Somebody called us. You made them uncomfortable inside. You're going in taking pictures. If you want to take pictures of the facility, I don't have a problem with that. But whenever you're taking pictures of citizens, well, so that's the their problem, not mine. Okay. You and when you get a call for, you get here for a when you get a call for service on somebody taking pictures, you they you should say, oh, this is th that's a First Amendment protected activity. Got them all shook up. That's why we're here. Right. We're just trying to see what's exactly what it all is. What you're doing. And that's all. We're just trying to figure out who you are. Mm -hmm. So we know who we talk to. Let them know this is what he's doing. We're done. Yeah. So what all? What else are you trying to? What stories else are you doing? Um, a lot of it has to do with First Amendment stuff, and um, you know government accountability. So you've been to the jail, courthouse, yep. police station down here? Yes, sir. Where else are you going to go? Uh, actually, I'm done after this. Yeah. Have a good day. All right. Excuse me. We're going to go back inside. Even though those jackholes... Detained me until they closed. 
So obviously the female officer and the sergeant believe that taking photographs of people's cars is a crime. They also seem to think just because it was a call on picture perfect that he caused a disturbance and is automatically a criminal. What was disturbing was the female officer unlawfully detaining the citizen and refusing to identify herself at the same time. You could tell this department is led by a tyrant and the whole department is trained to violate rights. This sergeant is so worried about a grown man drinking when he's on the clock with a mouthful of dip, which I'm sure is against the department's policy. Oh, and let's not talk about hypocrisy. Both of those tyrants standing there with their hands in their pockets, the man in picture perfect take his hands out of his pockets. You just can't make this up. It's sickening to see cops that behave like this. I understand when I see comments on how difficult it is to watch clips like this. Man, it gets my blood boiling. But that was a boss audit by picture perfect, especially to be bombarded by these unprofessional, uneducated tyrants. He kept his rights intact and he went back inside the post office. So here's some key takeaways if you ever encounter some bullies like this. Number one, know your rights. Understand if you haven't committed a crime, then you don't have to produce ID. Second most important thing is to have a camera rolling because I guarantee you if that camera wasn't on, things would've got ugly. And lastly, just stand your ground. They're gonna try to intimidate you. They're gonna try to bully you. But as long as you know your rights and you know you haven't committed a crime, you should walk away successful. Let's continue. All right, let's try that again. Why Why are we stopping me and having a dog come out? One, because I'm driving one, down the road. A dog out. Two right now, you just stopped, you just slammed your vehicle in the middle of the road. You two, put, I, your, I go you to put pull your you lights over. on. Maybe two, you're going around me. Over. Two, I go to pull you over. Uh -huh. You do a complete circle. Okay. okay. It, but, and now I'm stopping you, and you back your car up. You That's told me to back in here. You just told me that you're coming from Delaware. You told to me pretzels. to back my car into the spot. I never said that. Yes, you, just, you did. You just told me that you're coming from Delaware to buy pretzels on Easter. That's right. Okay. I'm and allowed to go I, out and I, drive I, wherever I, 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 I want. This is America. Zipping, zipping up and down Clevis Bridge Road. Nobody's okay. zipping up anywhere. Okay. I went to speed limit the whole time. Speed limit. 35, then 25. Okay. The whole time. I'm a professional driver for a living. I know how to follow the speed limit. First it was erratic driving. Now you say it's tint. Which one is it? And don't forget, I have you on tape saying it was erratic driving. For, Here's for, what doesn't make for, sense. First no, we Brian, went... Stop. Listen, I'm going to explain things. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and argue. I'm explaining things to you. All right. You're driving an hour from Delaware. Your interstate travel doesn't match up, doesn't match up with your destination route. You just advised me that you're going to the pretzel factory right there. It, it, it's closed. Unfortunately, that pretzel factory is closed. So if you know that, why would you be heading to a closed destination? Maybe from one's an open and one's Delaware. not open. Okay, but you first, just know, you first, know they're closed. First of all, I don't hold know hold they're closed. You just said they're closed. That one down there, yeah, I pulled okay, in and correct. it was closed. You so are, I left to drive to the next there. one. Right across, right across in, in, in the, the police Walmart. station. There's a pretzel factory right across from that pretzel factory in the Walmart, which is two minutes away. So I don't know that. that. The next one's on the Black Horse Pike. You surpass that, and you're not you're not even are, on the Black Horse are, Pike. Uh, uh, so, I got to get so on right 42. Now, your travel destinations, okay, and your interstate travel is bizarre. It doesn't make and, sense. You don't have it. You you don't have. I've a done. I've done nothing to. wrong. Okay. I wasn't speeding. And listen, you and went from zipping to along light, when, to when, a, I go to, when I go to light you up. I stopped. You completely stopped your car. That's what you do when the cop pulls you over. You stop. Oh well, guess what? I wasn't speeding. I didn't violate any laws. I'll take my documents back. And thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, too. That that pretzel factory, the one that you said you're going to, is closed. Then I guess I won't get it. And I'll try the one in Philly okay. next, in South so, Philly. Maybe, but you. So Walt you're Whitman Bridge. From Delaware, you, you it doesn't matter first. where I'm coming from. It does. No, it, it doesn't. That's my job to investigate. No, it's not. And you're not investigating like that, anything. You oh. pull me over because I'm out of state, and you're you're pulling your game. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't doing. Uh, first, we went Last from. Time I checked, there's first, a lot more things you could be stopping. First, you went speed. from zipping along. Right, zipping along the road. This is what you told me, and then you went okay. to, then you went to erratic driving, then you went to suspicious I, behavior, I you, and right the right fourth here. excuse I, I was it. tenant I, windows. I explain to you this. Tenant Your windows. Your vehicle has tenant windows. Okay, uh, that's great. Second, they're legal. Your interstate travel. They're legal. And, and where you're coming from, go from makes absolutely no sense. That's you're good. Forty five minutes to Delaware. Have a nice day. I'll take my, place. I'll take my documents. You understand where I'm coming from? You have a nice day. Have a great day. Yep. You can tell this cop is just used to pulling people over for no reason at all. He just put a worm on his hook and dropped it at the bottom of the lake, hoping he'd catch anything. Good thing Brian wasn't going for it and sent them packing. So pretty much this cop made the stop because he noticed a vehicle going one way and coming right back the other way. But fortunately for us, that's not against the law. In fact, there are many reasons why someone might do this, such as getting lost or changing their mind about where they're going, which in this case, Brian had went to a location that he didn't know was closed down. Police officers are only allowed to make traffic stops if they have probable 
probable cause to believe that a crime has taken place or they witness a traffic violation. Simply noticing that a vehicle has turned around is not enough to establish probable cause. So this cop is engaged in what is known as a pretextual traffic stop. A pretextual traffic stop is when an officer pull you over for a minor violation in order to investigate them for a more serious crime. And this is a violation of your Fourth Amendment right. It's important for officers to understand that they cannot stop people simply because they're curious or suspicious of them. Officers are supposed to be public servants and they should not be using their powers to harass or intimidate people. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to these awesome creators. Again, make sure you use the links in the description to go check out their channels and show them some love. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You're the real CT3 fam. And without you, there's no CT3. Remember, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. And until next time, peace. Please.